Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I wish you'd look out there in that field and see that thing right there. It's 4th of July. It's the day after 4th of July. But that was one of them lanterns, Chinese lanterns, that you light and it goes up in the air. And uh, that's not the first one I've seen. But I was going a little too fast to stop for the other ones. But uh, this was too close. Yeah. So I've seen several of them, <laughs> and one was red, this, this one is uh, purple looking, and uh, the other one was kind of white looking, but they had to come down somewhere, <laughs> and that's where they come down at. Alright, there's the Ozark water tower, it's, it's moving in the wind, alright. Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. Right over there, one day last week, I seen a big sign truck with tele, you know, tele, you know what I'm saying, a sign truck with a boom on it, and he was mugging with the sign. But I had no idea that they were shutting that thing down. But you can see where I'm at. This is the red light at 9th Street and Jackson Street. Back up that way, Sonic. Uh, yeah, I bet you that John, John Mor how you say his name, Johnny Morrison, Bass Pro guy, I bet he bought that, and there was a certain time that they could sell their stuff, and they decided to close office and move out. Well... I'm going to see if I can find out exactly what happened and if that is the case. But Johnny Morrison evidently, because that, that was a, a business over there. I wonder if the Chinese place is still. See, that's the Chinese place back there. But, uh, you know. All right. It's just got my curiosity up. So I'm going to go check it out. Well, I thought I seen somebody over here, but evidently they might have, they were standing by, I thought by that truck right there, but they might have drove off. But you can see they, they have just left. You know, as far as they got stuff still to get out of here, but, well. So I bet, Johnny Morrison bought this and they're not gonna put nothing else back in here. If they're gonna do anything, they're gonna tear it down. Okay. Nobody to ask questions to here. Well, I'm finding out what this thing was here on this piece of property right here. It was a highway department. See, if you look at it, you can see that's, that's dumped where they dump it in the truck. So this was the highway department at one time. Now, right now, uh, he's going to be putting some fall plants out here. And he said that he could stay until winter, depending on how everything goes. But he did tell me that Johnny Morrison owns all of this. And that the... Uh, the building right up here that's, that's, that they moved out of is going to be remodeled and keep it as a historical historical look to it because it is I imagine that building is pretty old I can call somebody and they can tell me how old it is yeah okay well I ain't going to put you on camera but uh, <laughs> I appreciate you giving me a little insight because uh, I was right about Johnny Morrison owning this whole property oh yeah yeah he's owned it since it was the highway department, as far as I know, because we've always leased from him. Ah, and you leased this part right here. And so that's been years and years. 25. 25 years. He knows that Johnny Morrison owned this highway department piece of property right here. Before he ever bought all of that over there and all back there where the, uh, the mill is. Ah, that's a good that's a good piece of information. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir.
Hey everybody, this is Buddy. This is Cash Saver, and this is uh, Jackson Street. If you come to Cash Saver, you look over here, you'll see this dentist. This guy, he really is a good dentist. I know, how do I know? <laughs> because I actually uh, had him fill one of my teeth, and he did a really good job. I'm telling you, I have a dentist in Mississippi that had taken care of, of me and my children for years and years, and he was so good at uh, helping me out. Because you know, when you're raising little badass kids, <laughs> they need braces, all kinds of stuff. But um, he worked on me, and he's one of the only ones, except for a lady in uh, Ecuador, that was really good. And uh, so I, I feeling had broke off or came out, and so he hooked me up and did a really good job. So if you're in Ozark, Springfield, anywhere in the surrounding areas, and you need to get a teeth refill, you got to come here. He did it without having any pain at all. And um, that's what I'm used to in Mississippi is the, is the guy that does it in Mississippi. He's, he does it so good, you know, he just, you can't even tell when he's giving you a shot. <laughs> but this guy's just as good. So that's one reason I want to plug him. He did a really good job. So. Now take a picture of the door. 